Hello, I am going to see Mira from Eisegelen. I was born and raised in a small city in Bulgaria. And all my life I've been underestimated because of where I come from. In Isaac, I'm being judged based on what I'm doing and what I'm capable of doing in the future. This has enabled me to live up to my full potential. This is the impact Isaac has had on me. So simply the story is I was working with a company and this company was like very start very small startup that was working on marketing for other companies that are. and what happened to this company is simply they was like not accepting that kind of JIP program and after like long sales with them and long process they wanted to take one person as a marketeer. The magic happened when this person came to this company and I saw it like this company started to grow suddenly and I'm Elisa from the Netherlands and I want to share my story with you. Well, I took Isaac because I thought it was really like from the outside already a really cool organization which is present in a lot of countries and does a lot of cool stuff. And I always wanted to join Isaac during my student career and then the chance came, came to apply and I was like okay I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna join Isaac. So I'm an Isaac now since October and I'm like much and during I see now I came here to uh, you know learn about the MENA region, hear people's stories and everything and I'm so inspired and I really feel so empowered by everyone so I can feel about like talking we talk about it empowering others you guys are empowering me and I hope I can do the same for you. We are working together for the common goal in which we are collaborative. We work from we are the first ones to make this step in this country, so we are action oriented. Uh, my name is 2015 from Morocco, and I would like to talk, talk about the story of a girl that I met during Isaac. This girl was extremely shy, even afraid to raise her hand in a public place and ask a question. And this girl was me. And I think we invented me, we made me a person that is not afraid of anything, a person that is always ready to go out of her comfort zone and try new things. So for that, I'm really grateful to myself. After I finished the, the lecture they gave about the generation I decided that I am going to get out of my comfort zone, take up a leadership role because I can do it and I will do it and I will try to be as purposeful, collaborative and action oriented as I possibly can so I can be an official person of the generation 2015. Thank you. Um, as a non-MENA person, uh, the Arab Spring is like we can't really grasp what's happening and the media doesn't really tell us what's happening and it's really, um, what you see here in Morocco, it's a lot different it's, um, it's actually really, really weird to see it and, yeah, I'm not sure how to say it but if, if you're in the Western countries you can't really grasp what's happening and since I also like to talk to a team, a team member, a tribe member of mine I talked to a track member of mine and he actually saw someone like die next to him in the revolution and Western people can't really grasp it and we don't see it in the media and um, here in Morocco I can really feel what's happening and it's, you can talk to everyone about who's been in the revolution and it's so different here. And I believe we can achieve our goals and I believe we can create Gen 2020. And I'm 2015 because I'm attending this international conference, meeting those amazing people and changing a lot of ideas and doing collaborations with other companies. I can't wait to come back.
and my hometown Munich and implement all the ideas I get from here. Yay! Awesome! It was uh, a lot of pressure, and uh, at first I couldn't, I didn't think that I would do it. But uh, I, I put expectations, I put uh, uh, a strategy, I made like uh, a schedule, and I gathered almost like um, a half of the entity at that time. And I'm, I'm 2015, and that's because this summer I went to Jordan, and while being there, I learned how to make this Um, I think the best thing that ISAC has given me is the skill that I am able to tackle team management. Having the chance, it was one of the biggest and intense uh, experiences that I have, having the chance to lead a team of diverse people and being responsible and accountable for EPs who are coming from different countries, holding hopes for our country and hoping for experiences here in Morocco. And today I would like to share one of my favorite quotes in my lifelong journey. It's like by John, one from John Annan. It's like, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. Like many times during the brainstorm stage, you have to bring some a lot of crazy ideas and sometimes you reject or ban our idea because of the security problem. But like when we work as a team, we are here to solve the problem instead of to analyze the problem only. So we should make something to happen. We should make something impossible to be uh, possible. And many, and many times we will just remain on the brainstorming stage, dreaming stage, and seldom do we really take action. Even though sometimes we take action, we worry a lot about a lot of stuff, like worry about whether how will the result will end with, will we get failed, and other stuff. But sometimes when we are when you are working as a team, you don't need to we don't need to worry that much. You need to trust yourself, trust your teammate, and this is what makes a team. Perfect. Oh, hi, Jason. I am Jen 2015. <laughs> 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 <laughs>